because these athletes we were not training them earlier. So now, the National School Bowl Games entered its fourth day as Dagoretti High and St. Anthony Boys booked a place in the boys' football finals while defending champions Wieta Girls will now face Butere in the girls' side. In girls' volleyball, defending champions are Kwandanze, so of Mutoto, three sets to nil to set a stage for the finals where they will face Kesogon, who rooted as Soweto, three sets. David Beria has more from Kakamega County. At Mabao Grounds in Kakamega School, Dagoretti High booked a spot in the boys' football finals, courtesy of a 3 0 win against Aguru Sari in a match that went into a penalty shootout. Dagoretti High will now face St. Anthony Boys, who routed Shandarema 1 0 at Buhungu Stadium. Team yetu likuwa na teamwork, tukajikaza, tunasukurungu kwa win. Our St. Anthony's tumechaza now. Ata tulicheza nao jana mechi ya mwisho ya kikundi so tunawajua in the girls soccer defending champions Wieta girls stormed into the finals after bagging a 4-1 win against Dagoretti mixed and now they will face Butere girls who secured the ticket courtesy of a 1-0 win against Madira girls we've come uh, as defending champions and we're coming nothing but to take the title back to Vieta. we are made of champions the volleyball boys anderson mixed secondary school thrashed to Maini school three sets without a reply and now will play ruthumitu in the finals defending champions kwandanze declared their intention to defend the girls volleyball title by qualifying in the finals after they pipped mitoto three sets to none Kwandanze will now play Kesogon, who beat Soweto with the same margin. In the girls' three-on-three -three basketball, Utoto girls from Nyanza region are the national champions after they defeated Rift Valley representatives St. Bridget girls 14-9. to nine. Three champions will be declared tomorrow as the finals in soccer, netball and volleyball will be held tomorrow. Davis Meria. Cajun Sports in Kakamega County. I'm just smiling because I called him David.